Hello and welcome back to another edition of Electric TV powered by the NECA IBEW team. I'm your host Dominic Giratano. All across this country, on a daily basis, construction jobs of varying size and types are built to varying specifications. And electrically speaking, each is bound by clearly illustrated performance and workmanship standards within the National Electrical Code. Now before you write this video off because of the subject matter, which admittedly isn't as sexy as Nick Walenda walking across the Grand Canyon on a tightrope, today's story may seem rather lifeless, but not in that sense of the word. Lifeless as in what can happen if a building's electrical system is installed to just a minimum standard, thereby putting people in harm's way. Electricity is dangerous, and while an arc flash like this is something no one wants to see happen, the fact is they do. And if it and other safety hazards like it can be eliminated, it benefits everyone. How can you be assured that the installation of a system in a given building or home is safe? Two words, the code. Like an insurance policy on the installation, the National Electrical Code gives the contractor and its crew a set of installation guidelines. And if the job is up to code, it's considered safe. When you look at the National Electrical Code, it's an open consensus document. It's developed by many industry professionals from all different areas of expertise and classification. But at the end of the day, it is a minimum safety requirement. Uh, we take it a step further. We actually build standards that are voluntary, but they address quality and performance issues in the industry that are important to specifiers like architects, engineers, and those involved in uh, developing uh, or specifying electrical installations on their properties, owners, sometimes to exceed minimum requirements. And the NECA IBEW team's position is, whatever the owner wants, the owner gets. You see, up until the early 90s, neither owners nor GCs had anything concrete to go off of when judging good workmanship. They simply referred to the plans and the specs. If it passed the eyeball test, that was good enough. But not all installations are equal when comparing craftsmanship or quality. So the National Electrical Contractors Association, on behalf of its more than 4,000 members, seized an opportunity to be better, to offer more to their customers, to further ensure the projects they built. The dirty work of elevating the code began, and to this day, NECA's National Electrical Installation Standards, or NEIS, are the only ANSI-approved installation and maintenance best practices for electrical systems and equipment, meaning they conform with the highest level of criteria. What we've done is grown from one flagship document that addresses the good workmanship and electrical construction from a general perspective to approximately 45 uh, ANSI accredited standards that address all aspects of our industry. Once developed and accredited, these provide an additional service to architects and designers beyond that of just improving installation quality. Rather than telling the industry in their spec how they want the fire alarm system installed, they can refer to NECA 305, and it's all written for them. In addition, NECA has written specs for transformer installation, panel boards, conduit, and wire, a list which now includes a brand new standard for smart grid application and energy management. NECA 701 uh, talks about things that can be done with the building envelope and the building's electrical infrastructure to shed load, to uh, be in a position to allow the utility to talk across a smart meter, to control loads if they're on the right utility plan, to address things like not allowing huge loads on the system or service to be operated uh, simultaneously, in other words, to stagger big loads, which all results in reduction of cost to operate the building and energy usage ultimately up the road with a power plant. What it all boils down to in the end is that when an ECA contractor is hired, an owner gets a quality product installed by IBEW Crafts Professionals to the highest possible standards that will perform for years to come. Something which in today's day and age is rather hard to find. That'll do it for this edition of Electric TV. Please do check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And if you have a story idea for us, drop us a line at info electrictv.net or use the form on the website. Thanks for watching this story. We'll see you next time.